Damn, Daddy, I didn't know you had hmm. The Diddy scenario may be a broken record at this point, as the record producer appears to have progressed from boiling water to frying pan. And with the recent news regarding his home raid, T.D. Jakes was also found at home. T.D. Jakes, a clergyman, was involved in every crime that Diddy committed. T.D. Jakes is in a panic after being busted in Diddy's mansion. People are asking why a pastor would be to a rapper's house. What did T.D. Jakes say? Let's watch until the end. First, let's talk about Diddy. He's in the flames itself. Now, we are in days that no one ever imagined we would see because, let's face it, this man is one of the most powerful figures in the entertainment industry. However, it appears that 2024 is the year when the deviants will be unmasked, as Cat Williams predicted. This is a handful of us that get to look behind the curtain. There's a curtain, there's another room, and there's a curtain, and in that room is some shit. You're like, God damn, I didn't know y'all was back here. <laughs> From the looks of things, Diddy may be used as an example of what is to come for other prominent personalities with questionable reputation. He's been into trouble before, but the stakes are different today. Leaving aside the fact that Diddy's current situation was foretold by folks like Cat Williams, who appears to have insider knowledge of everyone. The rapper has also been less cautious than in the past. How else can we explain the feds closing in on him now, given everything that has come out over the years? Given that searching someone's home for criminal purposes, especially if they are a well-known celebrity, is nearly impossible without incriminating evidence, Diddy is most likely dying as a free man. According to the results of the raids on his residence, it appears that police discovered some things, such as a secret room for depravities. Again, this is one of several allegations linked to Diddy that many people may not be surprised by. TD is the pastor. Jake is not only a well-known religious leader, but he exudes charisma and a commanding presence. Jake is the founder and senior pastor of the Potter House, a non-denominational megachurch in Dallas. He is well known for his powerful preaching and humanitarian work. Time Magazine rated him America's best preacher, and the New York Times labeled him one of the country's most intriguing and influential preachers. Watch me as if you were mine. However, recent events show that he is far more than any of these categories. It all began with his relationship with Scene Combs, better known by the stage name Diddy. Diddy is a powerful and influential player in the music industry, with a net worth of more than $90 million. Because of his financial success, he has significant power in the field. One such example is how he dealt with his ex-girlfriend Cassie's lawsuit against him. Cassie claimed Diddy sexually assaulted her, but the case was resolved 24 hours after being filed. Even though Cassie and Diddy did not share the specifics of their agreement, the speed with which they settled has sparked concerns about Diddy's position and authority in the music industry. It also eliminates the possibility of a trial and legal discovery. Pastor Jake and Diddy are a couple whose cooperation, produced by a TikTok user going by the moniker Misha, has bolstered the previously circulating suspicions about Diddy and Jake's relationship. A month after their lawsuit, the user made an amazing claim. So allegedly, Cassie has turned over evidence to the feds. Yes, to the fed. She has turned over videotapes, a USB drive, and Kim Porter's burner phone. Now, there is also an alleged email out saying a plethora of other things that include TD Jake's with Diddy. The TikToker went on to claim that an email had evidence that Jake, who performed Kim Porter's funeral, had sex with one of the church whores. The victim's family paid Jake's parents hush money, so the incident was never made public. The victim finally left Jake's megachurch. But there has been a lot of discussion and conjecture on social media about the email's authenticity. Diddy and Jake have undoubtedly been close friends and mentors for many years. In 2021, Diddy officially announced that Jake had helped him through difficult times, prompting a collaboration announcement. They want to launch T.D. Jake's exclusive sermon series on Revolt TV, a popular Black-owned multimedia channel. Although the speech sparked a heated debate, some questioned the blurring of the limits between entertainment and religion. The preacher has long been known for his lavish lifestyle and close relationships with celebrities, 
both of which have helped to boost his public image. The underlying reason Jake's association with Diddy is being investigated is that the hip-hop entrepreneur has been sued multiple times for sexual misconduct. And, as previously noted, the friendship between a pastor and a music billionaire was unusual, but I'm not sure why he'd attend a ridiculous party. A few days ago, the FBI raided Diddy's house and discovered numerous unusual stuff, in which some evidence of T.D. Jakes was discovered. It signifies that T.D. Jakes comes to Diddy infamous parties. The hip-hop community, in particular, is well-versed in stories about Diddy's parties and how there are usually separate rooms for things that should not be discussed. Some of the people telling these stories fled for their lives, while others indulged, aside from individuals who willingly came into Diddy's parties to join in the purported freakout that was the rule of the day. He get d they d this they 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 d this videotape it. Then when he in the meeting, they d track, they play the video of him getting d by like three names. Cat Wim say, you just got to say no to Diddy. And it's a lot of people that couldn't say no. And they probably on tape. All of these uh, big de deviants is all catching hell in 2024. It's up for all of them. It don't matter if you Diddy or whoever you, all lies will be exposed. However, in this case, the authorities are simply discovering bizarre wrecked chambers in this man's home. Does this mean they've finally proven the allegations about him and Jake's to be true? I will tell you this. If the claims about Diddy and Jake's were true, do you believe a court would have given them permission to raid his home? That seems unlikely. These guys unlock a Pandora's box. They look for strange, exotic stuff. And strangely, it turns them on. Think about it now. You probably can't think of someone more controversial than Diddy, not only in the music industry, but in the whole entertainment sector. Do you know what they say about smoking? There's probably fire there. It appears that Diddy's fire has been rekindled, and federal officials are now hunting him down. In case you didn't know, rapper Scene Diddy Combs is currently in a difficult predicament. According to rumors, Combs' houses in Los Angeles and Miami were raided by U.S. Homeland Security officers on Monday, March 25. The rapper and music entrepreneur, who is credited with launching the careers of singers such as Biggie Smalls, Mary J. Blige, and Usher, has faced a slew of allegations over the last six months, including S.A. According to the latest reports, the raids are part of a federal ST probe. Search warrants being executed, there could imply that arrests are being made. We just don't know what that law enforcement activity is right now. According to an unnamed source, three women and a man have been examined by federal agents in Manhattan, with three more interviews scheduled to investigate STSA claims as well as the solicitation and distribution of illegal narcotics and firearms. According to reports, it is still unclear whether Combs is the target of the inquiry, but an update on the case has provided a clearer picture. The Army of Federal Law Enforcement officials wrecked Diddy's Holmby Hills. Drawers were pulled open, items spilled, documents tossed about, and safes broken into. Agents had a great day with Diddy's technological devices. You could even see pieces of computer and other equipment on the ground. It's apparent the agent focused on the hard drives taken during the search. According to rumors, Diddy may have been keeping blackmail documents against multiple people at his home, which explains the trashing of certain rooms. While this may sound unlikely for the authorities, word on the street is that some of the women who recently accused him may have spilled information about his secrets, but it appears that he was blackmailing more than just women. If anyone knows about this, it's Cat Williams. Williams is an important component of our story because, for starters, the comic anticipated that all of these events would occur. All of this enormous deviation is going to catch hell in 2024. It is up to all of them. It doesn't matter if you did it or who you are, all lies will be exposed. Williams spoke with Shannon Sharp on the Club Shay Shay podcast in January, and she revealed everything. Throughout the chat, the 52-year-old comic revealed shocking details about other rappers and other well-known figures in the music industry.
As Diddy faces many claims, Williams' comments against the returning rapper have gone popular on social media. In a video published on X, formerly Twitter, Williams appeared to expose Diddy's desire to party, saying, You gotta tell him no, I did. I have the receipts for everything I'm telling you. Now, I had to turn down $50 million four times because P. Diddy wants to party. And you have to say no. You have to tell him no. He was adding comedic flair to the interview when he stated it. But it couldn't be further from the truth. I've had to turn down $50 million four times. Because uh, P. Diddy be wanting to party. And you gotta tell him no. You got to tell him no. In fact, one could argue that he understated it slightly as Diddy has been caught in similar situations with other celebrities. The rapper has a habit of throwing some of the wildest parties, and he continues to hunt for victims like Williams. Rapper Fabulous could have been one of the victims. Although Fabulous has attended several events in his life, it appears that he believes that some of those parties did not meet the standards that were set for them. So Fab, how was your birthday, man? <laughs> yeah, and what, your and birthday. What, was your, what was your wish mm. for this year? Now, if you look closely, Fabulous is surrounded by an unmistakable cloud in the throng. He appears to be carrying an invisible load, which helps us sympathize with his attitude. He is calmly savoring a piece of cake while presenting a sense of remoteness. Furthermore, he appears hesitant to meet the gazes of those around him, as if he is deeply uneasy. But Diddy continued to grill him. Um, my birthday was enjoyable. To which Fab replied, like a wonderful mood rather than seeking anything. Like, do you get what I mean? So I felt a cool vibe. I spend some of my time with my children. But Diddy's gatherings are seldom what they appear. According to someone with direct knowledge of what goes on at these parties, the focus appears to be on gathering blackmail material rather than partying. In that light, rapper Smart Guy recently appeared on a podcast to discuss how upcoming rappers are drugged at gatherings then mistreated, the party people record it, and then use it to blackmail them. He get d they this they 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 this videotape it. Then when he in the meeting, they track, they play the video of him get by like three names. This appears to be what Diddy has been doing for years to maintain his unrivaled status in the business. Furthermore, these incidents have been observed to occur in specific rooms at these gatherings a story shared by nearly every significant celebrity in the industry. They need to get you, you know, very, you know, they need to be able to massage you a little bit. They need to get that footage on you. They need to get the pictures. They need to get that video. When you discover Diddy isn't the first high profile individual to be involved in a situation like this, the entire story takes on a new dimension. Thomas Jefferson, the 18th century US president, is said to have held women as slaves in a secret area beneath his home. Who's to say Diddy isn't just as depraved? It becomes a lot easier to believe when you consider that about a dozen people have accused Diddy of various types of abuse in the previous six months alone. Speaking of his assault cases, as previously said, it appears that some of his accusers may have played a role in his home raid. If you look at the lawsuits launched against him, many of them are from a long time ago. Aside from his frightening social standing, it appears that he had blackmail evidence, possibly in the form of a non-consensual tape, which took them so long to speak out. Apparently, the authorities are about to find out. Even the supporters are aware of this. One person said, the year of truth has arrived for Diddy. The installed are being uncovered. The installed are being uncovered. That is it. Goodbye.